Genesis chapter 3. The snake, craftier than any other creature God made, questioned the woman, did God really say you can't eat from any tree in the garden? The woman confidently told the serpent, we're allowed to eat from any tree in the garden. God has warned, don't eat or even touch the fruit from the tree in the garden's heart, or you'll face death. With a sly whisper, the snake assured the woman, you won't really die. God knows that the moment you eat from it, your eyes will truly see. You understand everything, just like a god, discerning right from wrong. The woman, captivated by the tree's enticing fruit and its promise of wisdom, couldn't resist. She tasted the fruit and shared it with her husband, who also succumbed to its allure. Suddenly, they both could see clearly and realize they were bare. In their newfound awareness, they hastily crafted coverings from fig leaves. In the soothing chill of the day, they sensed God's voice, as if he was strolling in the garden. Overwhelmed, Adam and his wife sought refuge, hiding among the garden's trees, away from God's divine presence. In a voice filled with concern and confusion, the Lord God sought out Adam, asking him, Adam, where are you? He confessed, your voice echoed in the garden, fear gripped me for I was bare, so I concealed myself. He asked, who revealed to you your nakedness? Did you eat from the tree I specifically told you not to? The man confessed, the woman you paired me with, she offered me fruit from the tree, and I couldn't resist, I ate it. God, with a heavy heart, asked the woman, why did you do this? The woman, filled with regret, replied, I was deceived by the snake, and so, I ate. God, with a heavy heart, said to the serpent, because of your actions, you are now the most cursed of all creatures. You will slither on your belly and eat dust for the rest of your life. I will create conflict between you and the woman and your offspring and hers. Her offspring will strike at your head while you will only wound his heel. He told the woman, your pain and childbearing will be intense. You'll bear children in distress. Your longing will be for your husband who will have authority over you. God told Adam, you listen to your wife and ate from the tree I warned you not to. Now, the earth is cursed because of you. You'll struggle and suffer to get food from it for the rest of your life. The land will bear you prickly thorns and thistles, yet you will survive on the greens of the field. With hard work and effort, you'll earn your living until you return to the earth from which you were created. For you are made of dust, and to dust you will return. Adam lovingly named his wife Eve, for she was the cherished mother of all life. With compassion, God himself crafted garments of animal skins for Adam and his wife, providing them warmth and protection. God observed, the man now understands right from wrong, just like us. We must prevent him from eating from the tree of life, or he'll live forever. And so, with a heavy heart, the Lord God banished him from the paradise of Eden to toil and cultivate the very soil from which he was created. With a heavy heart, God sent the man away. He stationed mighty cherubims in a fiery, ever-turning sword at Eden's east, guarding the path to the tree of life.